Today I'm going to share with you one weird trick to help you so you never have to write the word console.log again. If you're a JavaScript developer, you probably wrote console.log about a few hundred thousand times. I'm not even exaggerating. And it can get tiresome and you'll be sick of typing the word console.log. So today I'm going to show you a couple of ways for Visual Studio Code and Sublime Text where you can set up a shortcut uh, snippet keys so you never have to type it again. So let's try an example. Uh, for Sublime Text, let's say I want to log something um, but I don't want to type the word console log. So there's a quick way you can do this by going to Sublime Text menu, going to Preferences, and then going to Key Bindings User. So here I added an extra snippet to the setting. Basically this is saying when I press command K in my keyboard, it will insert a console.log statement into my selection. So let's say I'm at a new line and I do command K right now and you see a new console log statement pop up. Now I can just type in stuff. And if you have a word um, that's there and you want to highlight it and then you press command K, it will just put that into the console log. So now you can quickly write stuff and you know you can just do many console logs very easily. Um, Sublime Text does this a lot better than Visual Studio Code. But I also like the way Visual Studio Code does it. Uh, for that to work, you have to install an extension. So uh, the extension that I like, like is called Council Wrapper. So you can install this, uh, this extension by pressing Command P in Visual Studio Code and then just type in this thing. And this will install the extension for you. So the way this extension works is it's very similar to um, Visual Studio Code, except that when I press, you have to press Control Q, and this will basically uh, let's, let let me put something in my clipboard. Let's say um, building. So if, if you if you don't highlight anything and then you press Control Q, this will put the thing that you have in your clipboard into the variables. Also, you notice it, it indents a space, so you can easily tell the console log statement. However, if you have something um, that's highlighted, let's say my var, and then I press Control Q, it inserts a console log statement in the next line where the uh, the variable is highlighted. It's very handy, and I really like it. The only thing I have uh, against it is that Control Q is very similar to Command Q, which is quit. So you make sure you don't want to get that messed up. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little quick little tip and hopefully you never have to write the statement council log again. I'll see you next time.